In her book, Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain, Betty Edwards explains the use of a tool called a picture plane that has been used by artists throughout history. It's basically a tool to help you turn a three-dimensional object out in the real world into a two-dimensional drawing. And it's also a tool to help you get the proportions and various distances between different parts of your drawing correctly proportioned. The picture plane is pretty simple to make, but it ends up being a very useful tool for a beginning uh, artist, someone who's learning how to draw for the first time, because it helps you to perceive more clearly how a three-dimensional object becomes a two-dimensional object. And her book explains how to make a picture plane, and it's pretty straightforward. If you have the companion workbook that you can buy alongside her regular instruction book, it actually comes with a piece of plastic that's designed to be used as a picture plane. But if you don't have the workbook, you can find another piece of clear plastic or even a piece of glass, like from a picture frame, and you can use that. The piece of plastic that she provides in the book is useful because it has crosshairs already permanently drawn on it. If you don't have this, then you'll have to just use a Sharpie or something else that can make a permanent set of crosshairs on your picture plane plastic. And uh, once you cut it out, it's got a few instructions on the bottom about how to stabilize it. You can use a piece of cardboard for this and you basically just draw out the uh, dimensions of the picture plane and uh, you can cut that with an exacto knife and just cut out the shape so that you end up with a frame made out of cardboard. You could use another material just as long as it's rigid. The plastic itself is too floppy to just hold up and use properly so you've got to have cardboard or something else around the outside to stabilize it. Once you've got the cardboard cut out then you just need to connect the plastic or the glass to the cardboard to help it be stable, and you can just use some transparent tape for that. Um, you don't want to make it too permanent because if you want to later change out the cardboard or uh, use the picture plane in a different way, you want to be able to easily remove the picture plane plastic from the cardboard frame. So just uh, three to four pieces of tape around the edge work just fine. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Once you've got it put together, it's a great help for drawing, and I've got several videos on the channel about how to use it. Take care.